Meditation 8 Jesus Strengthens the Faith of Thomas We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by the wood of the cross and the light of the resurrection, you have redeemed the world. From the Gospel according to St John now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God, then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen, and yet believe. Reflection from the life of St. Joseph Cafaso Don Cafaso was a priest in Turin who took on an apostolate among prisoners and especially among those condemned to death. When the sentence was pronounced, Don Cafaso visited them constantly. He spent the last night with them as far as possible, encouraging them. In the morning, he said Mass for them, prepared them for their last Holy Communion, made his thanksgiving along with them, and then entertained them. He laughed and grieved with them, and he would willingly have died along with them if that would contribute to the good of their souls. How do I share in the pain of others and allow them to enter into mine? Lord, all of us are wounded. May our wounds challenge us to help us be gentle with what is bruised and broken in ourselves and in others. Just like Thomas touched the wounds of Jesus and St. Joseph Cafaso touched the pain of the lads sentenced to death. Give us the courage to allow Jesus to touch our wounds and let them be transformed into signs of resurrection. Amen.